welcome back to a brand new video back at the grind again we're here doing a jazz rebuild today asking siri really no updates for you guys today i think we're just gonna jump right into it uh, i had a lot of updates yesterday's in yesterday's video so we're just gonna jump right into this one you guys voted for the jazz we're gonna go ahead and just well like i said just get started so uh we started starting with joe johnson today and um Everyone, someone uh, said that I don't trade every player in the team. I do not because I there's no point of that. I just trade the top 10 players because uh, I usually run 10 or 9 man rotations anyway. So there's really no point in me trading the whole team, honestly. Uh, it would just be kind of useless. And um, I don't know. I just think it's probably a waste of time to trade the whole team, especially when the bottom of the team is like 69 overalls. So we be getting pointless trades at the beginning. And uh, no point of that. So first trade of the day, though comes with joe johnson let's see what siri has for us pick a number one through 26 that would be 22 number 22 what do we got for number 22 22 22 alan williams and tyson chandler what a solid start right there man 275 overalls for one i will take that any day of the week boys um so now alan williams and tyson chandler alec burks is next so Alec Burks. Let's see what you got up your sleeve this time, Siri. Give me something good here as well, because that was a solid start. I'll give you that. If you choose number one, I might die. Pick a number one through 26. The answer is 15. Okay, she didn't choose number one. I was about to get excited because I would have had Reddick. Number 15, though. Number 15. That's what she picked. Number 15 is JJ Barea. You know what? That is a solid trade as well. Siri, what has gotten into you today? I mean, yesterday you had a good tra uh, good uh, episode, so maybe you're just uh, on a roll now. Too too soon, too soon to speak. I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to see. Jonas Drebko is next. Power forward. Pick a number one through twenty nine. Fifteen. Okay, she chose fifteen again. If fifteen is a good trade, you know what? I won't be mad, but I usually don't like doing back to back numbers. Fifteen, Devin Harris. Uh, not that great, but not terrible either. I guess if Devin Harris is a has to be the backup point guard, it's not too bad. Um, Cephalosha is next, and then we'll get into the 70 overalls and above, which is my favorite part because they usually bring some good trade value. Tabo Cephalosha, uh, two star rating, so let's see if we can get something good for him. Pick a number one through 25. It's five. Number five, number five. What we got for number five? Patrick Beverly. So he's either going to be the starting point guard or um, starting shooting guard or backup point guard or backup shooting guard. He's going to be a backup guard or starting guard. I guess I should have just said that from the beginning. So Patrick Beverly, that is a... Actually, I guess we have Jinji Bray as a backup point guard. I totally forgot about that. So Devin Harris, I don't even know if you're going to get minutes, buddy. Uh, Joe Ingle. So, geez, Siri, I'm liking you today. Keep it up, please. Joe Ingles. What do we got for Joe Ingles? Pick a number one through 21. It's 17. Number 17. What we got behind Dort? Ooh, she would have chose five. I would have died. Number 17. Ooh, we got some solid trades, actually. 17. Oh, wait. I passed 17. What is 17? Kyle Anderson. Uh, uh eh. There was better trades out there. DeAndre Jordan would have been uh, the best, obviously. But whatever. Uh, Kyle Anderson. Back of a small forward. Can't complain too much there. Uh, Ricky Rubio is next. So, Rubio, hope you bring me some good... Uh, players as well rubio come on 2k 2k trades finder i swear pick a number one through 25 25 25 david west dang it what could we have had down to jordan again jeez we got david west though out of all these trades we got david west man that's unfortunate all right david west come to the team Oh, well, I think we're about to clutch it with these last few trades, though. Roddy Hood. So, after these these four trades, I feel like we're about to be really good. So, let me throw in... Oh, wait. Let me throw in... Oh, hold on. Let me hold Let me hold the phone real quick. Let me turn this stupid tr uh, rule off. That way, I can trade these picks. I'm going to attach Rubio with the first round... Or, uh, Rodney Hood with the first rounder, anyway. Actually, we have a lot of first rounders. Uh, I'll throw one at... I'll throw one to try to sweeten the pot a little bit. Lawyer protected thunder pick. I mean, it's not gonna bring that much value, but it's gonna make it a little bit better, I guess. Uh, all right. 
Pick a number of 1 through 18. 2. 2. Malcolm Brogdon. Okay. Uh, I would have liked that trade a little bit. Ooh, she would have said 3. Number 2, though. Oh, there were solid trades all around here. Besides this one, that would have been terrible. Number 2, though. Malcolm Brogdon. Okay. Got plenty of guards now, Siri. Try to give me a big man. I need a big man. Dirk Favors. I'm going to throw first... Okay, hold on. The game is glitching. That's the only thing that sucks about trading picks is I have to wait for the game to unglitch. And, you know, that's a, that's kind of annoying to deal with. But, all right. Derek Favors, first rounder. Is the game still glitching? I think it's still glitching, guys. Yeah, it is. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see if I'll stop now. Okay, Derek Favors, first rounder okay i think it'll unglitch now let's see what we got 2018 bucks pick shouldn't be too good either but like i said it'll sweeten the pot a little bit 2k trade finder you need to load pick a number one through 24 the answer is 20 20 oh, we're gonna get you at least once this video deandre jordan i feel like 20 though number 20 we need a big man i'm in desperate need for a big man i think Ryan Anderson, uh, could be ter could be worse, but we get Ryan Anderson. So we have a big man, I guess you could say that at least. Um, now our two best trades that should happen. So Donovan Mitchell, I'm gonna throw. Ah, the game is glitching again, man. This is this is this is a so stupid. I'm just kidding, but yeah, it is ah oh, so annoying. All right, now it's unglitching. I'm going to throw two first-rounders in this trade with Donovan and Mitchell. Pick a number one through ten. It's seven. All right, seven. I'm just glad she didn't choose one because I did not want Covington. Number seven. Number seven. What we got for number seven? Ennis Kendrick, Frank Delakina, Rick Lopez, and Jordan Clarkson, Paul George, and Raymond Felton. Nine, eight. Jamal Murray and Gary Harris. Jeez, that does not help us out very much. Dang. All right. Whatever. Jamal Murray and Gary Harris it is. Okay. I think we should be good on guard. So hopefully I don't get another guard here. I definitely, definitely, oh, I guess Tyson Chandler could start. Yeah, I have a lot of guards, man. A lot of guards. So hopefully we get a, a center. I'm hoping for a center right here. Um, And the game is not glitching. Let's throw... As many first rounders as we can, I guess. With Rudy Gobert, although we should get something good here, no matter what. Hope we get a two for one deal or something like that. Let's hope for the best. Pick a number one through eleven. Five. Five. What is five? Buddy healed. Ah. Oh. Terrible way to end it. Paul Millsap, Donovan Mitchell would have been nice. Jeez, man. Uh, none of these trades were that good anyway, but number five, I guess Kemba Dwight Howard would have been awesome. Hassan Whiteside, jeez, man, that sucks. We got to take Buddy Heald. We have a lot of depth at the guard position. Let's just see how it looks, man. All right, so they got, right now they have Beverly, Gary Harris, Kyle Anderson, Ryan Anderson, Tyson Chandler, Buddy Heald, Brogdon, Gigi Bray. Yeah, just a bunch of guards off the bench, man. So many guards. Uh, I'm going to have to move, shift some of these guys' positions around if I can. All right, let's think about it this way. So, I'd rather have Brogdon starting, to be honest with you. But Gary, Brogdon and Gary. Uh, let me see. Let me see how I want to do this. Okay, let's do this. All right, so I know I want to do this for sure. Buddy Heald... Even though he shouldn't be moving here, he's going to. He's going to move to small forward. Um, Brogdon, I don't know if I should move him shooting guard or move. Let's see who we got. We got a shooting guard. We have Gary Harris. And, okay, we don't have another shooting guard now. So, uh, Brogdon or Beverly should move there. I move Beverly to shooting guard. Berea, Jamal Murray, shooting guard as well, I guess. Uh, <laughs> this is so tough. Alright, now, okay, let me see what that looks like now. So you got Brogdon, Gary Harris, Buddy Heald, Ryan Anderson, Tyson Chandler, Beverly, 
Jamal Murray, JJ Barrett, and Kyle Anderson, and Alan Williams. So, um, I guess really what we're missing out on is a center, backup center. But we have everything else. So, yeah, I guess that's how it's going to have to be. Beverly or Jamal Murray could play the small forward. Kyle Anderson could play power forward. And Alan Williams could play the center, I guess, or something like that. We'll have to roll with it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and submit to the end of the season. Plenty of depth, but... I just don't know if it's going to get the job done. I'm still waiting to the end of the season. See what right, we get. At the end of the season, guys, we barely missed the playoffs. We went on like a losing streak towards the end. We were kind of towards uh, the eighth seed and stuff, and then we started losing all these games, and yeah, there's just nothing I could really do about it, obviously. This team wasn't that great anyway. It was more of just a bunch of role players matched up together. Um, no clear number one option, so that was probably kind of a big problem. Um, yeah, everybody just averaged kind of 14, 14, 12. We needed a number one option, and we did not get one in this video. So, unfortunately, it was just kind of a bunch of role players just matched up with each other. Although, I'm not saying Jamal Murray, you know, Buddy Heal, Brogdon don't have the opportunity or one day being a number one option or anything. But uh, I'm just saying for right now in their career, they're kind of just role players. They're kind of just playing their role uh, to number one options. I mean, like, really... Buddy Heald, I mean, Buddy Heald, you could argue, is a pretty clear number one option in Sacramento, I guess. But you, at the same time, you could argue that he's not. Malcolm Brogdon, obviously, is playing with Giannis Antetokounmpo. Will never be the number one option as long as Giannis is there. Unless, like, Giannis is, like, 39 or something. I don't know. Uh, Gary Harris, uh, Nikola Jokic is obviously the number one option there. Ryan Anderson, James Harden, CP3 over him. Yeah, just a bunch of role players mashed up together, basically. Beverly uh, is hurt for the rest of the season. I'm going to go ahead and see the playoffs, see who wins this series, though. The Raptors were, or wins the playoffs. The Raptors were um, the number one seed. Interesting. But the 76ers do upset Cleveland and Golden State. What a shocking surprise, guys. And uh, that's the end of the season, guys. So um, I can't wait till playoff time rolls around in the NBA and in the NFL. Should be a lot of fun. I feel like there's going to be a lot of teams that could potentially beat the Cavs or the Warriors in the. Uh, Eastern Conference. Well, the Eastern Conference, I feel like the only threat to the Cavs for right now could be the Celtics. But, I mean, of course, there could be other teams that uh, could upset them. But the Celtics could be a huge threat to them. And then the Warriors, there's just plenty of teams in the Western Conference that could maybe upset them. And of course, the Bucks are pretty um, a nice challenger as well. But playoffs aren't for a while, so we don't really need to worry about that. But this is Crushables. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm saying peace.